So Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease and where brain cells die over time. And this normally starts in areas of the brain associated with memory. So the traditional symptoms that you think of with Alzheimer's disease is memory loss, but they progress into sometimes motor function and even um, having conversations and language. So Alzheimer's disease has been known for over 100 years, but the exact pathology, exactly what's going on in the disease is still not known. And in recent decades, um, there's been a new focus on inflammation and its role in Alzheimer's disease progression. But exactly what proteins and what cells um, make Alzheimer's worse and what ma might help and prevent Alzheimer's disease is, is still being picked apart by the research. So a few years ago, some research came out by Michael Henneke that identified a, a specific protein complex, actually this one here, right here, called the inflammasome. Um, and he clearly demonstrated in mouse models of Alzheimer's disease that this inflammatory complex protein called the inflammasome has a crucial role in Alzheimer's development. So uh, we began our experiments by screening a huge number of these non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Now these are probably one of the most commonly used drugs in the world and at some point in their lives almost everybody will take one of these drugs. So the way we did this was we started by screening a number of these drugs in mouse cells. And what we found was really surprising uh, because the, the most popular, most well-known drugs such as ibuprofen had, had no effect on these cells. Uh, but one drug, uh, a drug less well-known but still routinely used called methanamic acid, was able to inhibit the inflammasome. And when it did this, it dampened the inflammatory response from these cells. The next thing we did was try to work out exactly how this drug was working. Uh, and with the help of Dr. Claudia Ida at the University of St. George's University of London, we found that this drug works by inhibiting an ion channel expressed on the membrane of these cells. And this is the first time anyone's ever shown this ion channel to be involved in formation of the inflammasome complex. So yeah, it is important to know that um, this was preclinical research and although um, it was a fantastic result and we're really happy with the paper, there is still lot, lots more research to go before we can be confident that it's going to work in Alzheimer's patients out in the real world. So um, up next is probably potentially more preclinical studies as well as perhaps small clinical trials to really see if this drug is going to make a difference. So there's about half a million people in the UK right now with Alzheimer's disease and you're right, it, it, is, a, it is a struggle. But you don't want to give false hope, so it's important that we go through the appropriate steps in the clinical trials to make sure that this is really going to work. And this research was, was funded by Alzheimer's Society as well as Alzheimer's Research UK, so make sure the donations are going into these fantastic charities, because we really want to tackle this disease as you said, it's, it's, it's not a nice one to go through.